nice to meet you. I'm Dila. Welcome to Educa TV Show. Please have a seat. Your name is Mrs. Dewa, a teacher from high school in Florata, and you are Miss Kirana, a teacher from high school in Tarawang. Am I right? Yes, you're right. Yes, that's right. Okay, I think we should just start with several questions about COVID-19 pandemic affected in almost every aspect of our lives, including the way we learn in school. Can we start? Sure, of course. Okay, in your opinion, what are the impacts of this pandemic on education? For the first question, please answer it, Ms. Dewa. Okay, in my point of view, problem experience in the world of education is the lack of mastery of technology, the addition of internet quota fees, increasing job for parents in accompanying their children in the teaching and learning process, communicating and socialization between students will decrease. And then the interaction process between teacher and parents will decrease and working hour will become unlimited for educator and student because they have to communicate and coordinate all the time. Is that that's all. Okay, the next question is also for you. What are the police of the government, schools, and teachers in responding to the impact of COVID-19? So as we can see, school and colleges had to close down during the further spread of the virus. So to continue education of students, many schools and colleges shifted to an online model of education, even though e-learning was there before pandemic too. The pandemic accelerated the usage e-learning. Okay, thank you, Ms. Dewa. Uh, the next question is, what are the obstacles that teachers or students often feel when doing the online learning process? Please answer the question, Ms. Kirana. Okay, teachers feel that online learning is less effective because the teacher cannot see directly uh, whether the student understand the concept of the material or not. So the material is not uh, delivered properly to students. Students also sometimes feel less focused because online learning is desired and hampered by a less conducive environment because it is carried out at home. That's it. Okay, the next question is also for you. And then how do you think e-learning works for students and teachers? And are there any good or bad impacts arising from the use of e-learning? Okay, uh, even though e-learning is a boon for the education sector, uh, especially in the pandemic time, uh, it is increased stress in students as they had to sit in front of screen for a long time with no physical interaction with teachers and or other students. Students faced eye problems and headache, headache too, so that slowed down some students and they lag beh behind in studies. Uh, the next question is also for you too. Can the impact of COVID-19 also affect of students? Uh, as a children had to stay at home, uh, some children felt isolated and that affected their mental health. In addition, addiction to the digital world can also affect children's mental health, uh, such as anxiety and depression. It can also cause structural change to the prefrontal region of the brain that are detrimental to children's ability to prioritize tasks in their lives. Okay, uh, the next question is, what about students who have low economy and are getting more and more difficult 
to do the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Please answer it, Ms. Dewa. Okay. The gender was deeply needed in education in the pandemic time. As many lower income groups were affected by the pandemic negatively, they had to up priority for budget cuts. And as there was low priority on girls' education in many lower income groups, their education was stopped. That's all. Okay, the next question is also for you. And what about students who do not have access to study, such as not having a smartphone or internet because they cannot afford it? Um, as the internet and smartphones are not available to all, and the education gap widened between the, between the haves and have not. That's all. Okay. And then, apart from students, what difficulties are experienced by teachers during this COVID-19 pandemic? Please answer it, Ms. Kirana. Okay, thanks, Yadila. Uh, teachers too were stressed as they had to teach children online, and that comes with its own challenges. Teachers couldn't concentrate on all students and couldn't understand whether they understood the concept or not. Moreover, they had to learn many new things while opting to teach in online mode. That's it. Okay. And in addition, have schools and college found other methods so far? Uh, this question is for Ms. Dewa. Okay. As uh, school and colleges are now reopening, when do Many educational institutions are opting for hybrid learning methods to include both e-learning and online model teaching. That's all. Okay, thank you, Ms. Dewa. For the last question is for Ms. Kirana. Is it true that during the pandemic, online learning is effective for students? Uh, we admit that online learning is not as effective as conventional learning activities like face-to-face -face because some material must be explained directly and more fully. In addition, the material delivered online may not necessarily be understood by all students. That's all. Okay, thank you for answering my question, Ms. Dewa and Ms. Kirana. Let me tell you the conclusion from this interview. COVID-19 pandemic forced many change in the education sector, and some change will not go even after the pandemic. Some change, like blended learning, are helping to make education more accessible, and some other change affected students negatively. There is a need to bridge the digital divide and to make e-learning accessible for all. And we must immediately take steps to bring back the children who had to quit education into school. Okay, thank you all for watching our show. I hope this gives you some knowledge about COVID-19 pandemic affected in almost every aspect of our life, including the way we learn in school. See you. Thank you, Dila. Thank you, Dila.